So the target was Maria Orsic. She was uh, channeling information for Germany. She has luxurious hair. And I go, I'm not a good enough artist to capture her beauty. She has captivating eyes. And at this point, I started crying. I thought, is this Hitomi? Is this Lon Vo? Because this woman, whoever this is, she can. she's like the power of Hitomi and Lon Vo. And then the term Mother Mary came to me. And I, I started sobbing. And I go, man, she has the gift of psi ability. It wasn't called remote viewing when she did it, but she can do it. And she does readings. Someone who shows up arrives and gives meaning oh that was interesting well, what does that mean i wonder and they're like a teacher and there they are and these people are going to come and she's going to you know tell them the meaning of things the sense is that uh, this one has knowledge and takes time to share it with others maybe or has been an actual quote-unquote teacher saw a person standing there but the thing that jumped uh, jumped off of the blackboard for me was the fact that i saw literal x-ray visual of the person's brain lit up like a christmas tree um and it was a female so i see her brain lit up like a christmas tree neurons firing she's extremely smart so it felt like a life who is being influenced uh bought and paid for uh being controlled by others outside of their circle and that pisses them off and you know that had a political feel, so the controlling people were political, um, and it all felt quite dark now. This reminds me of what could be considered a quote unquote enlightened person or an illuminated one. And then here we go. I go, oh shit, oh screw me. I see a UFO. I'm like, oh god, don't. Where did this come from? Out of the blue, and I saw this really clearly, and so I think. I realized she saw orbs of light, and this had a great impact on her. It was an encounter. She has tremendous calm. I, I want to avoid the UFO. It's like, let's get back to the lady. She has a confidence that's a result of knowledge and experience. But what I saw here was outside at night. I, I saw a, a structured UFO. It was really cool. They had a secrecy feel as well to them, which was multi-leveled, and it was a secret side. Uh, I asked what this was, and it was all to do with national security. Uh, and I felt like the uh, this part of them is locked away, uh, and it's kind of like covert. So they were they were it almost felt like they were doing a bit of spying. Uh, and this person person was also protected and watched, so it had you know handlers. Did this person just end up in this situation, though? I wondered, and I got the notion of a chosen one, and I had to question that. This person is gifted, along with being around other fortunes and advantages, a gifted person, high IQ. So the first thing I see is a, a suit, someone in a suit, helmet, a breathing apparatus attached to it, like an airtight suit. Um, at this point, hard, you know, I couldn't tell if this was like one of those. It looked very, it looked old style, like, you know how those old... Um, scuba suits kind of look like space suits or the old space suits kind of look like the scuba diving suits and then i go back to the energy i the swirling ions energy field candles she goes into trance-like state she has a psi event it's occult stuff uh she's like a good witch humming and singing uh transcendental she has a real strong aura diarization this person seems to have lived in a previous era feels significant to 1920s to 1940s much of my data ideograms had a shadowy feel or look this led me to perceive that it is like uh fading into history knowledge will die without action this person knows this and actively participated in keeping it alive this notion must capital letters have been taught to this person she listened to gramophones, but the music was scratchy. She liked going to live cabarets. She was associated with the occult. She works with Heinrich. She's afraid of Adolf. She's afraid of being like burned at the stake. Uh, she's acute. She's afraid she's going to be accused of underground witchcraft. And she's interested in UFOs, like how they fly. What's the technology? But then, th then I saw this here a person in a cockpit 
kind of hand on a on a steering apparatus uh in closed space they're steering or guiding something i get the sense of intelligent design you know maybe to build this thing um and i wrote i can't tell if it's a aircraft a spacecraft or or an underwater type thing margaret margie margo kind of close i know yeah kind of surprised and it was actually spelled m-a-r-j-a m-a-r-i m-a-r-j-a i think in her natural where did you say she was from croatia um so that's very interesting and i wrote austrian which is also close and then i wrote like an angel and after seeing that picture, I'm like, well, that's close to you. <laughs> uh, I see a desk, documents, uh, another kind of thing that put me in the in the time space. I said, there's an abacus there. So this is probably um, not modern. Uh, there's a globe. They, they, they point to different locations, maps and navigation. They're a problem solver, a mathematician, a great mind. They they're responsible for some types of major discoveries or inventions. She was caught by some soldiers, and I saw them stop her. That was the end. And that wow. was a really intense session. 